All right, for our second example, we will take a more difficult question to answer, okay? So let's begin. One seven two dot sixteen dot one seventy one dot fifty one slash twenty two. You need to get five questions out of the given I call this the five hit combo combo one what is the network of this address so the solution is first and foremost slash 22 is third octet for i right so the octet in question is 171 because this is the third octet and you just need to ask yourself what for i is nearest 171 so the answer is 172 16 dot blank dot zero so choices are 160 164 168 172 and 176 so the obvious answer would be 168 so that is the network address slash 22 so this is the network address or network ID so that will be for the first question now the second combo combo question number two is what is the valid range inside the net ID well, the solution is just get the next subnet, subtract 2, but we add 1 to the subnet. So, if our subnet would be 172.16.168.0 The next subnet is 172.16.172.0 So if we subtract, if we get, if we add one from this subnet So it's going to be 172, oops sorry if we are going to add 1 on this existing subnet, it's going to be 172.16.168.1 all the way till we subtract 2 here to get the um, last valid IP. So the answer would be 172.16.171.254. Okay? So this is the valid range. Is the valid range. This will be combo number three, two. Combo number three question, that's why it's called a five hit combo, is what is the broadcast? Well, on this point, things will be much easier because all you have to do is just add one to the last valid IP 
which would in fact give you the broadcast. 172.16.171.255 Combo number 4 is how many subnets are there in all? Well, we, do you remember the formula we were using in class to get the subnets? It's original plus the bits. Okay? So we all know that this is a slash 22 from the given. And if you look at the range of the IP, it's quite obvious it's a class B. So a class B slash would be 16. So how many bits would was added to 16 to get 22? So the obvious answer is 6 bits, right? So moving on to raise to 6 would give you, any guess please? Yeah, 64. We subtract 2. For the all host, or for the all ones and the all zeros, giving you a total of 62 subnets total. Alright? And combo number 5 question is How many hosts are there in each of the 62 subnets? Well, the answer is, again, easier. From our class, we know that the formula to get the host is 32 minus the bits. Got it? And it's now becomes slash 22. So how many bits were subtracted to 22 to get uh, 32 to get 22? Obviously, the answer is 10 bits, right? So moving on to raise to 10. We all know that is 1022, 2024 actually. We need to subtract all um, two for the all ones and all zeros, giving you a total of 122 host per subnet. Right? So this is the kind of questions you would expect from the CCNA exam. So whenever a given question is is asked, be sure that you are able to get all five combinations from the net finding the network ID getting the value range the broadcast okay so to better prepare you for such questions please answer this in your sheet of paper okay so these are the right team ribbon questions to solve Slash um slash thirteen would be two five five dot what two forty eight that zero that zero the slash would be second octet eight i next would be slash twenty one that would be two five five two five five dot well same thing two forty eight dot zero which would be on the third octet 8i now if I give this to you instead of one in the middle it's 255.255.192 dot zero we all know that it was this is a slash 18 right from our class and in fact this would be um third octet 64i so um please do attend our review sessions um usually done on weekends sometimes on on holidays because that's the only time most of the instructors are free so thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you again